Hi, I'm Steve Flamia, and today I'm going to tell you about a paper I wrote with Dave Bacon called Adiabatic Gate Teleportation. You can find it on the archive at 0905-0901. It's on quant pH. So the basic idea is very simple. What we'd like to do is we'd like to eliminate pulsed gates in the circuit model in favor of adiabatically controlled gates because these will be more robust against timing and control errors. So the basic idea is imagine that I have three physical qubits, one, two, and three, and I have a Hamiltonian coupling qubits two and three, and this Hamiltonian is an XX ZZ coupling such that the ground state of this has a twofold degenerate ground state space, and I can encode a logical qubit into the first physical qubit, and these two qubits are jointly in a maximally entangled state, in a Bell state. Similarly, I could also imagine that the Hamiltonian coupled qubits 1 and 2 instead. So the first thing that we ask is, what happens if we do an adiabatic interpolation from this Hamiltonian, this system, to this system? The first thing that we show in our paper is that, in fact, whatever logical information was stored in the first physical qubit is dragged over to then reside after the adiabatic uh, transport uh, to lie here in this third physical qubit. So that's the first thing that we show. And then we imagine that this initial Hamiltonian, we instead modify it so that instead of having an XXZZ coupling between qubits 2 and 3, we imagine uh, that we do some unitary rotation on the third qubit first. Now, our information in this case would be stored in the first physical qubit, so this gate is sort of done offline, an analogy with gate teleportation. Then, when we go through the same teleportation procedure, we maintain a constant gap as before, and the information is again swapped from the first physical qubit to the third physical qubit, but this time the logical information picks up a single qubit unitary gate. So we've actually succeeded in teleporting this gate onto the quantum information which is now stored locally in the third qubit. Uh, and then uh, basically the last thing that we do is we have a scheme for making this universal by doing two qubit gates. Uh, we don't discuss it in the main body of the text, um, but it's discussed in the appendix. Imagine that I add two ancilla qubits, and then I turn on a strong field, a ZZ field, coupling between qubits 3 and 4, as we see over here in this legend. Then I can turn on a controlled phase gate here by turning on a Hamiltonian of the form XZ, ZX between the fourth qubit. And instead of having this information initially here, I put it between 2 and 3. And let's also erase these unitaries. If I have the following initial setup, I can adiabatically transport it to this setup. And it turns out that with a constant gap, I can adiabatically teleport that controlled phase gate into the subspace span by the degenerate ground states here and here. So that's adiabatic gate teleportation. I hope you'll read the paper, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.